England and yes, because the UK, the US, EU, all the other partners in the room, we're long friends of Nigeria. We're here because we want this election to succeed. And as you mentioned, this is a critical milestone, probably more important than the last election, which was the start, we hope, of a democratic consolidation. And if this one goes well, it will really signal to Nigerians and to the world that this pathway is hopefully irreversible. If it goes backwards, I, I fear that will significantly set Nigeria back. So we, we really want it to work. Secondly, I think there are lots of positives to celebrate since the last election. Um, in terms of what strengthened, INEC itself is a, a strong organisation. The role of civil society, um, even more critical, that has again strengthened. I think your voice is louder and clearer. The PVT itself has strengthened. It's even more robust and rigorous, the gold standard, and I would very much agree with that. And then I think, fourthly, the peace accord, um, the signing yesterday, was a really significant milestone. Just very briefly to mention what UK support, I feel proud of what we've done, Antoinette, um, who's led this work. We've put in um, nearly £50 million since 2014 to support democratic governance, it's £12 million for INEC. The rest has gone on legislative reform, civil society advocacy and participation, and a further £6 million towards inclusion, uh, people with disabilities and other marginalised groups, and to critically work to stop the violence, particularly directed at women and voter education. So I'm proud of what we've done to support those four improvements that I've mentioned. Um, but uh, we do have some worries. Um, security is obviously the biggest risk. Um, both the role of the formal security forces, it's so important that they act uh, professionally and enable people to vote. Um, and secondly, security in another sense, you know, that people will be emotive on election day and not in the aftermath, you know, there's a lot at stake. Um, but we really urge people, the political parties, to encourage their supporters to act responsibly and do not to whip people up if they're worried that things are not going their way. And linked to that, hate speak itself. There's too much of it out there on social media, and hate speak itself can, of course, promote and incite violence, and we'll be watching both of those uh, very critically. But if those two things can be managed, we are hopeful that this election will go well, and will reflect, hopefully, the will of the people. And finally, to come back to solidarity, we stand with you, people of Nigeria. We wish you all the very best. Thank you. Like the US ambassador to Nigeria for his